I got to show you how to make one of these. Uh, brought to you from Prep for Emergency today, we're going to build a PVC boat. So to get started building our bowl, uh, I got this cut, uh, this is one inch, uh, schedule 40 PVC uh, that we're going to use. I pre-cut it at 60 inches. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to be asking why I use 60 inches. Well, that's because that's the length of my string that I'm going to put on there. So that's how you determine the size. So uh, I know with PVC, uh, if you go longer, you can get, uh, you'll, you'll lose some of the strength. Uh, if you go shorter, you can actually get a lot of strength. I've actually did a, uh, a short uh, tear down recurve that uh, by the time I got it strong, uh, it took everything I, that I got to, to put the string on it. That's, you know, it took everything that I got. Uh, 60 inches is going to be a basic recurve. It'll just be a, your traditional bow, the slight recurve on either end. Uh, I got center uh, marked here, and then I put three inches to either side. So I got a six inch uh, spacer there for my hand. So the process here, uh, if you want to build yourself a nice little trough like this, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that. But, uh, a couple of one by sixes, some uh, some tin foil. Uh, what that does is get your your uh, uh, your heat when you're using your heat gun. It, it traps a lot of that heat in there, so it cuts your your heat up time in half. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get this guy going. I'm going to heat up one uh, one side at a time. I'm going to go from the end uh, to the center of the bowl, and that's uh, that's the the limb that we're going to uh, flatten out first. So this will take a few minutes. So we'll uh, get this thing going. And what you're aiming for here when you're heating your limb up is to get a nice gradual heat. Because you don't want to overheat it. If it's starting to turn brown, you're heating it too fast and too much. So we just want to get it to a spaghetti-like texture. So it's nice and floppy and it'll switch down real easy. And even with the heat trough, this process could take they could take 10 to 15 minutes depending on the, on the PVC or room temperature. You want to make sure we get a nice even heat for that whole, the whole piece of plastic, especially right at the end, because that's the part that needs to squish the plastic. Okay, we're just 
about ready. I got a, a jig set up here. We're going to move over to that. And I'll show you how to press out this in. This is where balance comes in nice. And with any luck we'll get a nice, nice tapered flat straight press on this. It takes a little bit of time to cool off too. So. Alternatively, if you have uh, some clamps, you can have this up on a bench and, uh, and clamp this down and walk away from it for a few minutes. But generally I find if I'm, if I'm right here I can kind of tell how warm it is because sometimes you, if it's not quite that nice and straight the way you want it, you, can, uh, you still get a little bit of time, you can, you can bend it against that, uh, uh, the bowl in it so you can straighten it out. And that turned out pretty good. Lie it down. Looks pretty straight. A little bit of a bend in it. See, while it's still warm, you got the, you got that opportunity to straighten it out. So there, we got one limb. If it's still too uh, Still too warm at this point, it will spring back as it cools off. So it doesn't hurt, everything looks good. Just keep it keep it under pressure for a little bit longer until you get that really cooled off nice. Didn't get as much of a taper as we wanted on this end, right where the, my center line is. We're gonna see if we can heat this up and squish it in a little bit more. Time to get some good little minor adjustments in there, nice and straight. Looking good. Okay, there is one limb. So we're going to go ahead and we'll uh, flatten out this other limb. We'll get right back. Okay, as we can see, we got uh, we got our limbs all flattened out here, and I purposefully but accidentally uh, got a bit of a twist on there. I don't know if you can quite see that but she's got a bit of a twist so it's kind of a good thing because uh, it's not to be uh, not to be alarmed about but uh, we'll actually show you when we're going to shape uh, shape up the handle uh, we'll show you how to fix that so right now we got uh, here's our six inch mark we got our center and our uh, three inches on either side so we're going to heat up this little section right in here and we're going to shape that handle up we'll show you how to do that let's get to it Actually, here's a good trick. This works out pretty good. Yeah. Gives you a little bit more control as you get it
already see this handle part, even though it flattened it right to the center, as it's heating up, it's trying to go back to its uh, nice round shape. Some days I think this plastic has more memory than I do. <laughs> You want to make sure we heat up just past your lines there too, because you want to try and get, uh, try and get that switch right up to that line. And it's hot! So we know we're getting close. Okay. Get my hand protectors on. Okay, so now we've got an opportunity, we can straighten these limbs out and then we keep it flat on the, on the floor and start squeezing this. you got to keep at it for a little bit too so it retains its shape as it cools down. And then try to keep it as even as you can. And flat. where you find out how much finger strength you got. You don't want to flatten it right out. We don't want this flat. We want to keep some uh, some sort of roundness in there. It's just the, the flat along the back of the bow is where we want to we want to make sure the whole back has got a nice flat taper to it or a nice flat back. And of course opportunity to make our a little bit of adjustments. You can probably see that now we're getting much was straighter. We had an opportunity to uh, fix up a little mistakes and still get a nice handle in there. And here we are. That is not looking too bad at all. It's actually, it's not a bad idea either if you got a little bit of a, an arc into it. So it'll bring up some of your, your strength, but as you're playing around with it like this too, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work on you. So until that handle is nice and cool, I'm going to keep shaping it, but it's looking pretty good now. I'm liking that. Nice. So in less than an hour, you can actually see we're almost sitting. You can almost, you put a knock in that, you can string it and fire it. Just that fast. Okay, what we need to do now is we've got to uh, measure out our knocks because we're going to do that in, uh, the next step in our process here. So what I like to do is just grab grab something. And I got a little piece of flashing here and I just cut a little uh, template. So I got the the same measurement on both sides. So, I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to mark it off. There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different styles of knocks that we can put on here. So we're just going to do a basic on this one, and then we'll do another video after, and we'll uh, show you the different kind of styles that we can do. We can get really creative with some of these. Notch these out, and we'll get right back to you. Got some knocks going here. 
cut out, kind of rough, but you know, when you're in a emergency situation, we want to get stuff pretty much, sometimes you got to go pretty fast. So at this point, we don't have a recurve in here yet, but I'm thinking this is a, this is a good teaser moment. We're actually going to string this up. We're going to see how it looks. It's like a preview. This gives us a chance to check our uh, our limbs and make sure we're getting fairly straight. Uh, string could be a little bit longer. We should be about six inches off of our uh, off our end here, so that's roughly roughly six inches, roughly six inches. But we got a fairly fairly even bend on here, so that's pretty even. Doesn't happen all the time, so. All right, let's check some weight on here. Not bad. 40, 40 pounds maybe? Should have a nice bend on there anyway. Cool, quite happy with that. Let's do, uh, let's do a recurve on there and see if we can bring up the strength. All right. Okay, so we're gonna measure out our recurve. We want them uh, even on both ends here. So I'm going to do, you know what, I think on this one I'm going to try an 8 inch recurve. Works better if you use the right side of the pencil. It's the one with the sharp end. 8 inches. Okay, now we're going to heat that up. String that it away for now. Okay, now heating up the recurve, we don't want to heat it up to the point where it's going to start springing back to its round shape. We want to heat it up just enough that we can get the bend in it. So not to, not to worry, if, you're gonna, if you start overheating it, it's just going to flatten out and put the recurve on it. We've used a jig for this, I've used jigs before. I got a couple built out of wood here, but uh, if you don't have one or you don't want to build one, I'll show you how you can do it really easy. This one you want to do pretty much up to the line. You don't want to go too much past the line. Like where you measure out your eight inches. Because you still want to uh, keep it fairly flat. I'm getting a lot of heat on the end of it already. It's starting to, starting to round out on me. Okay. This might be just warm enough here. So here's our quick trick for a nice... Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Here's my gloves. That's pretty warm. Basically, we're looking for something round, and your leg is pretty round. You can shake this out how you like. I'm trying to keep it flat again too, because if you get your end too uh, too flared out and round again, you're not going to get your string on it. You're just going to have to heat it up and flatten it again anyway. So then you can figure out. What kind of a recurve you want? How much you want to get on there? And of course, we want to make sure that we're nice and straight still. That's not coming too bad at all. Okay, basic recurve. Got my end still flat. We're looking pretty good. I'm gonna flatten out the other side or uh, heat up the other side and put that recurve on and get right back to you. There we go. We got our recurves on there. The tricky part, or well, the advantage of having the uh, having a jig set up, is that you can get the get your limbs a lot uh, a lot more even when you put those recurves on there, but. That's it. That's uh, less than an hour altogether. You should be able to get a functioning bow with the recurve on it. So let's uh, let's string this up and see how we did. 
Because I'm kind of curious. I don't know if you're curious. I'm curious. And then watch the goal. Shoot it. Oh, I think we brought our drawers up. Work with me. Oh, oh. I get that straight. There it is. Again, it's, yeah, I got a little bit more curve here, so this can be our top. And we're a little bit big, so I can go the longer string. Apparently, that wasn't such a 60 inch. But, there it is. Oh, that definitely. I think that added close to 10 pounds of draw weight. So, very nice. Let's take it outside and shoot it. Okay. Yeah, I only got, I'm down to one arrow and it's only got two fletches, so we'll see how, it, see how straight it goes. See if I don't lose this one. Whoa, that's not bad. Kind of impressed, it works. Quick prepper, homemade bone.